Welcome to the Nerdy Fitness Vlog with your host Pablo Gunner and I am here at the Casa. I called in sick for the last couple days so I don't even remember what I did the day before that. I did work out. I know I worked out Wednesday because Wednesday I yeah Wednesday I wasn't like a huge rust so I worked out and I did gosh what the heck did I do? It's, it's been so long I don't even remember what I did. It's ridiculous. So, anyways, uh, but yesterday I did my chest. Actually, not chest. I, I just did a whole, like, arms workout. That's all I did was just arms purely. And so what I did for that was a whole mess of stuff. So oh, I did, uh, of course, I did my warm-up and stuff like that, stretched. And so I did uh, wide grip push-ups for one minute. So I do, I did, I think I did like 50, I want to say, which is better than my 45 or 40 I did last week. I did, and then hammers, which is, I have the 10 pound weights. I just did this, essentially. You could use both hands if you want and do it at the same time, get it knocked out faster. That works and won't, and you know, it won't take as long. Uh, so 25 of those, then tricep dips, which I did it on the couch because the couch is nice and soft, so I just put my hands on there same way I would this and have my feet straight out, you know, like my heels on the ground, and then I do, and then I dip down like that. Good thing I didn't freaking fall. So, and I did 15 of those. Then I do seated forearm rolls, which is... I get weights, I got the 10 pound weights, and I roll them, like roll them in my hands down, and then, and then, you know, curl them up just right here, just to work out those forearms. Uh, and I did 30 of those, then I did shoulder press, you know, where I just, I had the, there was just 10 pounds weights, doing it like that, and I did it 20 times. Then I did regular push-ups, I did 25 of them. So I went time to the first one, just to see how many I could do. Wide grip, because I think that's the easiest. And then I did regular push-ups and I did 25. It was really tough. I was really pushing myself. I was grunting and everything, but I did it. Then I did curls, just, you know, just like this, just regular curls with the 10 pound weights, 25 of those. Then I did sitting tricep dips, which is essentially the same thing, except instead of my heels, my feet are straight and I'm kind of like in a sitting position in the air and I just do it. And I did the same amount for that, uh, which is 15. Then I did seated forearm reverse wrist, which you can do standing or you could do it sitting. It really doesn't matter. In fact, it was kind of awkward sitting, so I think I might do it standing next time, which is have it and then I just like roll and then lift my wrists back, like lift my, yeah, as far as I could. And I did that like 30 times, I think. Um, yeah, and so like I said, it's probably better standing up because it's kind of awkward on on your legs or doing it sitting. Then I did the side side lateral raise, so raise raise the weights like this, you know, from my side up to the side like that. And I did 20 of those. Then I did military push-ups, which is the tight, nice and tight over here, but my titties. And I did 15 of those. That was really rough too. Uh, I was grunting, but I did it, knocked it out. Then I did a twist curl, which is the same thing as a curl, but I'm twisting like this every time so that I do it. So those ones you can't do at the same time, unfortunately. So those ones take longer, and it's 25 each arm, so it's 50 all together. Um, then hammer toss, which is like if you're, if you're Thor and you're throwing that you're, th you're chucking Mjolnir. So I did these, uh, the hammer toss on each side, and I for each, each arm, I did 15. Uh, then I did standing forearm rolls, which is, uh, same, I stood up and just same thing where I'd roll it down and then roll it up and tighten my forearms coming up. And I did 30 of those. Pretty much the same numbers for each workout all the way through as long as it's the same type of workout. If it's forearms, it's 30. If it's, I mean, push-ups, those ones are the ones that change constantly, but like, uh, you know, if it's biceps, it's 25. If it's triceps, it's 15. If it's 
Um, forearms, it's 30. If it's shoulders, it's 20. And uh, so yeah, and so I did the front, then I did the front lateral raises, like I said, 20 of those. Uh, counter, so find a counter. I'm sure you have a counter in your house, and I just did push-ups off the counter. I did wide grip push-ups off the counter, and I did 25 of those. Then uh, alternating, I did alternating by uh, holding bicep curls, which is this is actually really tough, and usually I do this as my first workout, but this time I didn't think about it, and so I did it towards the end, and it was fine. And so essentially you're holding it. So it actually turns out to be a good forearm workout because you're holding it that whole time, and then and so you're taking turns curling it, which you could try doing it both at the same time, but it just does not work as, as well. But yeah, and, and it's harder too because you're actually getting more of a workout because you're holding it that whole time. So, and it, like I said, you're really getting that work forearm workout while it's holding. So, that one works really great. I love that one. It, it was actually Glenda is the one that actually told me that. Uh, and so, I've loved that workout. And the thing is, it doesn't require much weight. And it, you feel it. You feel it really, really well. So, uh, then I did overhead tricep extensions, which is... Uh, you know, almost like the hammer, but not quite. You're just doing it like this, uh, you know, behind your head. It's, it's, yeah. Um, and each, I do each side, each arm is 15. And then I did the standing rear forearm wall rolls, which is, you know, same thing, but like I do it like this. So I'm rolling, I'm rolling the weight down and then up like that, and tightening those forearms behind me. So you get a little bit like, you get a little support from it because it's kind of like resting back there. So, uh, especially by the end, you're probably a little tired. So yeah, 30, long, and then I didn't do this. I figured it, I thought about it later and I was like, oh, I should have done these, which even though it's like more like back and it's more lats, I was still like, hey, it's still upper body, you know, it's not arms, you know, but whatever, it's more like back and, uh, and lats and stuff, latvarians. And so, and it's like, you know, it's like when you're trying to pull a, you know, you're doing like a, a mule near. You're trying to pull it out, pick it up, you know. Uh, so I didn't, so do 20 of those. Like I said, I didn't actually do them this time, but I've added that to my list. And then of course stretching. And I, my arms feel pretty, pretty sore. Um, I'm, I'll probably, I need to do more research to see if I can add more. But what I might do instead is as time goes on, instead of, doing one all these random workouts what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to start putting them in sets of of well at first cuz right now i'm just doing like one and that's it right i'm going to start doing in sets of two and then over time sets of three so it's going to be more and then i'll add weight too if i can for certain things that i can add weight if i can you know like if i'm at the work if i'm at the gym at work, then I'll do it there if, you know, and I'll do it with 15s instead of 10s, you know, um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, it felt good. It felt fantastic. Um, a little rushed because the wife was like, let's go to the casino. So we went to the casino. I wanted to do, um, and then uh, I'll, I'll probably do uh, some yoga tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, I'll do that workout. The X training is what I'm calling it, the X training cardio. Uh I always feel like that makes sense because it's it's the uh, yoga, you know, you gotta focus your mind like the mutants, you know, like you gotta so that you can get right with Jesus or Vishnu or um, Buddha uh, or uh, you know whoever uh, you practice or the universe, you know, um, just get your mind right, you know, so that you can focus essentially. And it really does help with that. And of course, like I said, stretches you out at the end of the week. So that's what I like to do. And then my wife and I are doing like a late getaway um, birthday thing for, for her um, up in Pagosa. So, um, so yeah. But yeah, I, I, I called in sick because I was like, I cleaned the, I had to vacuum. And the wife, I mean, the vacuum was all messed up. So I did, it was like full of dog hair and cat hair and probably her hair because uh, her hair is everywhere as well and I had to cut it with scissors and pull it out and it smelled like vomit and and dog piss and dog you know hair and cat hair 
and that's that's what it was a combination of and just all that dust I just felt like crap in the morning so that's why I didn't really do anything but uh, I, I finally played some um, Freedom Cry uh, which is turning out to be really really fantastic I haven't beaten it yet I think I'm about halfway through and I'm trying to just stick to the main mission for the most part it's hard to do though because if you don't have a good ship <laughs> and the best way to do it is by doing more extra side stuff then, then it's really tough so anyways uh, yeah, that's been really fantastic. I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Super on regular. I've already seen it in Japanese, but I feel like I, there's a lot. I don't know if they added a lot of stuff to the English or what, but like it feels like it's almost a different show. But I'd rather watch it like nonstop. Like I like watching stuff with, like it's like Netflix where it's just like almost nonstop and it just goes without you saying unless it does stop like about maybe once every few hours or once uh, after like a few shows it asks but anyways so yeah um yeah that's that's what I've been up to and stuff like that I have a lot of comics to read but I'm I'm so I can do my own comic cast separate from JD he's gonna be doing his own on Saturday but I'm gonna do mine just audio and uh, so we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to try to cover the books that he doesn't cover and, uh, and see how that goes. And I did my 100 subs video or our 100 subs video for YouTube. So check that out because there's some free stuff on there. Mostly for the 100 subscribers, but there are some free digital codes too for people that aren't, that weren't. So, um, so yeah, I hope, I hope you all enjoyed it. And, and make sure and check that out because I think I'm going to make that like the main focus video on our channel from now on. So yeah, um, stay nerdy, plenty of love, stay fit, stay healthy, and other things.